Great white shark sightings off the coast of Maine triggered warnings today for people to stay out of the water. Mm, now those sightings are not new, of course, in South Florida, but they do often get a lot of attention. And that is why CBC News Miami's Dave Warren went out on the water to learn why we see sharks so often and what it means for our ecosystem. A shark reeled in miles off the coast of Fort Lauderdale in May. You're being very brave. Just weeks later, a little girl bitten off the Gulf Coast. Shark stories are everywhere. The thing that we like to say is if you're in water and it's salty, there's probably a shark nearby. For Catherine McDonald and her team from the University of Miami Shark Research and Conservation Program, that's exactly what they're hoping for. This nurse shark was one of many they caught today. We'll take a few small tissue samples, a blood sample, and some measurements that we can use to study the health of sharks here. Here being Biscayne Bay. Turns out it's a perfect place for researchers to monitor shark populations over the long term. In 2024 alone, they reeled in and tagged more than 550 sharks. The bay perfect for these species to have and raise their young, but it is changing. Because South Florida's estuaries are warming about 6.9 times faster than the global ocean, uh, there's reason to be concerned that between all of these human impacts and warming, uh, we may see this habitat become less good for them as time goes on. For Delaney Reynolds, preserving this habitat is a calling. I actually went on my first shark tagging trip with the University of Miami in high school, and I knew the second that I stepped on that boat that this was something that I wanted to do. She's been doing that for years now as a PhD student at the University of Miami. What we're seeing is that there is some migration with warmer waters of different species northward, which is affecting fisheries. From that first tagging trip to now this. Reynolds working with these summer scholars taking part in their first shark tagging trip. Great. You get kind of like an adrenaline feeling when they come on board because you just put those lines in and you wait for them to bite and then when they finally come it's really exciting. They're high school students that come here from across the country. So I really wanted to explore this aquatic wildlife and, and you know enjoy the ocean and learn more. Exploring firsthand with a team of researchers. Every time we see a shark, it's not only the summer scholars who are excited, but my team as well. An excitement felt four times when three nurse sharks and a black tip shark were all reeled in and tagged. So no matter what the species, the students and researchers like what they see today. Researchers tell us the number of sharks here is mostly stable or even increasing slightly. That's good news for our environment. Sharks being present in an ecosystem is usually a good sign for how well that ecosystem is functioning. That's good so far. But something these current and potential future scientists will continue to monitor. Strong work, guys. So all of the research that they found today, the researchers and the potential future researchers will analyze and see how all of the waters in and around South Florida are changing. On Virginia Key, I'm Dave Warren for CBS News Miami.